Herzlich willkommen hier aus dem olympia eistadion dritter Spieltag Champions Hockey League. Heute mit dem Spiel zwischen Red Bull München und Rapperswil Jona Lakers. Es war am Ende ein 5 zu 4 Erfolg in der Verlängerung für München vor offiziell 2342 Zuschauern. Ich darf wie immer die beiden Coaches hier begrüßen. Gästecoach Stefan Hedlund, zu meiner Rechten, zu meiner Linken, wie immer Donald Jackson, Red Bull München. Yeah, warm welcome to you, um, uh, Stefan, here in Munich. Um, at the end, it was a tight match, of course, and at the end, a 4-5 loss for you in overtime. Your statement on the game? I think it's a pretty good game from, from our side, I have to say that. I think that we are doing especially a good, jo good job in the third, uh, second period. Uh, I think we did a lot of stuff that uh, I like to see. I think the compete level in our team was good. I think we we did a good job. And then in the third, we ended up in our heels and, and the momentum shifts over to Munich and, and uh, uh, they got it to tip over for their advantage today. So uh, a tough loss, but there is a lot of good stuff that, I, that we can uh, take from this game. Thanks, uh, Stefan. Don, yeah. Um a win at the end for Munich. Mm -hmm. um, so your words to this match today? Um, yeah, so from our side, uh, you know, certainly I thought the, the first period was uh, was close. They, they had some shots. I think they possessed the puck a little bit more. And the second period, they, they forced a, a lot of mistakes on us. Uh, and um, we had to really regroup. Uh, I had to say that after the two periods that we were uh, had to feel a little bit down emotionally um, because uh, they really took it to us in the second period and uh, and you know just the the effort and the resilience that uh, that the team showed um, in the third period was just remarkable um, uh, you know the big goals you know Ben Street of course has uh, you know been a, a, a big wheel for us uh, in the scoring department uh, with the hat trick tonight um, and then um, or uh, yeah, with the hat trick tonight, and then um, uh, you know with the big goal by tags at the end. So um, you know, you know, we had we had the right guys out there, and uh, we um, uh, I just think that uh, Niederberger was fantastic. Um, uh, you know, both sides, both goaltenders were were, were great in the, um, in the game. Uh, so. Uh, you know, defensively, uh, I thought we were good, except the you know, second period was a really a down period for us uh, where we got dominated, I felt. And and uh, the, then the comeback I, in the third just, you know, really topped it off and, um, you know, obviously was the difference in the night. So, um, Stefan and your team uh, played really hard, played well. And uh, so, you know, good luck next game. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Don. Vielen Dank, Don Jackson. Any questions? Fragen? Günter Klein vom Münchner Merkur und DZ. Yeah, this is, uh, this is to Don. Uh, you talked about uh, mistakes in the second period and the resilience and the comeback in the third period. Was it the worst and the best that your team can show in one game? Uh, that, that's a good description right there. Uh, I really thought that, uh, I mean, I have to give them the credit. Uh, I have to give uh, Rappersville a lot of credit for you know what, what happened in the second. Um, but I still felt that there were a couple of our guys that uh, were just a little bit slower in uh, the thinking, and it shows in the, in the, in the puck movement. Um, and um, so we're just a little bit slow in that. And, uh, you know, guys get to feeling good, uh, want to hang on to it a little bit too long. And uh, when you're playing against a club that's as quick as this, uh, this club here, you, you, just can't, you just can't hang on to the puck too long. Um, so um, I think it was the difference in the third and uh, the difference in the game. Eine weitere Frage von Christian Bernhard, Süddeutsche Zeitung, bitte. Yeah, also a question for Don. Uh, ben Street had a really good start in this new season. Um, it's his second year now in Munich. Uh, do you notice something has changed something? Is something different with him in his second year? Yeah, so... <laughs> I, uh, I'd have to say it, it was pretty good last year, too. <laughs> he just happened to get a hat trick tonight. <laughs> and uh, however, uh, um, he, uh, uh, you know, he, I think he is still is, I think he's still, you're right, he is at a, a, a notch higher uh, than, than what he was last year. 
And uh, of course, the, the learning curve coming from North America uh, and you know, some of the things that we talk about here also uh, might not exactly be the same. So um, you know, I have to say between uh, you know, you know, our players and uh, I have to give a ton of credit to our coaching staff, uh, you know, Steve Walker and, and Pierre Lard, uh, obviously Patrick Dallaire with the, with the goaltending. Uh, that um, uh, you know, but uh, everybody's really pitched in here to, I think, get our our, our system play up to a uh, uh, up to a better level, and um, you know, even from you know through the years past, I think we've made changes and improvements. Uh, 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 you know, with, uh, with with Steve Walker and Pierre Lard on board uh, to uh, uh, make us better uh, system-wise. Weitere Fragen. Günter Klein nochmals, uh, vom Münchner Merkur, bitte. Yes, to, to Stefan Hedlund. What makes it so difficult for Swiss teams to play against Munich? Because Munich has a remarkable, remarkable record in the Champions League against Swiss teams. Uh, I've been here also with Zug a couple of years ago. Um, so first of all, I think that it will be different this year because the import rule is changing. So I think there is many... Swiss team that will be very competitive in Champions Hockey League. Um, but in the end, it's a very good team. It's a phenomenal, well-coached team, uh, very impressive. So it's a great hockey team. Uh, so that's the answer to the question. But I think that they will be Swiss teams. They will compete uh, about the medals in Champions Hockey League today and uh, this year. And I think that the import rule is a little bit different um, in Switzerland now. It's six imports instead of four. And I think that will make um, the teams a little bit more competitive in Champions League. Damit, damit alle Fragen beantwortet, dann äh, bedanke ich mich recht herzlich bei beiden Coaches. Nächstes Spiel ähm, schon am Samstag, Champions League Gruppenspiel Nummer 4, diesmal gegen Slovan Bratislava. Ich äh, verabschiede mich damit ähm, von heute Abend, wünsche den Gästen eine gute Heimfahrt, safe home trip back. Danke. Und bis zum nächsten Mal. Danke, ciao.